welcome back. Let me give you a little bit of background of why this C-axis carriage is looking like this in my CNC machine. Remember, this is a prototype and it performed really well. And the proof of concept is totally approved from my side at least. So what is different in this setup from the rest of the things that you find on internet? Well, it is that the carriages are fixed. That's a fixed position to the main body and not they are not going to travel. What is usual is to have the rails fixed and the carriages run along the rail, right? So if we take a look to these ones, they are fixed uh, to uh, the 3D printed part in this case that in the future is going to be uh, a metal part. And uh, of course the motor and um, the lead screw are uh, static and uh, we have uh, this other uh, assembly traveling up and down, right? So they, it is going to, to move up and down. There you go. It has a long um, run and that's something that I was looking for because I need to have some clearance, especially for some of the operations. And making this even more interesting, this um, uh, section that move, the mobile, uh, movable uh, section by itself is configurable. So you can have different positions for the motor by itself if you need it. So for example, uh, you can just put this piece here at the top and move uh, one of the spacers down and uh, relocate them as required. So if I'm machining something that uh, it's, I don't know, it's, it requires a, a long drill or stuff like that, I will be capable to do it. Of course, in this position, uh, this is going to be, the rails are going to be a limiting factor, but we may can deal with that. So the idea is to have the, the, uh, the flexibility and do not have constraints. Okay, so let me get back to uh, this subassembly. So as mentioned, the limitation is given by the tool by itself because it is as simple as the fact. Let me uh, move this thing. Don't forget to subscribe. Okay, so you have here the label of the rail. You have here the holder and then you have Let's say, well, this is an um, ER11 uh, clet, so it is going to be for no more than six millimeter diameter uh, flute. So the limitation is going to be uh, the flute by itself, and if we talk strictly um, about the pocket, for example. But in depth, you have all these clearance in here so all this distance is available for move freely and avoid collisions with um, the fixture the fixture or any other element of the machine so that's that's pretty much the objective of this uh, crazy setup so in terms of the forces it seems like it is pretty stable it is uh, capable to machine in different orientations and it is not uh, let's say, uh, angling a lot. And even if this is a 3D printed part and it is performing well, I assume that uh, a metal one is going to be way much better. So in the next steps of the upgrading of this machine, the idea is to attach in this zone of here a weight. That weight is going to let the machine to be more uh, stable when it is making drills um, or deep uh, cutting. So it's, it's moving, uh, actually it's, it's moving acceptable for aluminum and or kind of plastics like uh, um, nylon and stuff like that. Okay, so uh, this carriage is attached of course with other linear rails to the back and the idea is to avoid a huge uh, cantilever effect, right? So 
by itself is a little bit higher uh, oh no it is quite much larger than uh, the original machine which was having a very small clearance for that so uh, <laughs> uh, don't forget to subscribe and like this video yeah so uh, yeah the clearances are are pretty good and uh, that's that's, that was the main objective, to not have a machine that is going to be uh, restrained by uh, the, the dimensions by itself. Of course, this is not huge and this is not super rigid, but we are going in that direction. Maybe in the future, we are going to change the side plates for, the, uh, for something more robust. And the thing is that this is an ongoing project and uh, I have no hurries, but I would like to start moving faster than what I have been doing in the last couple of uh, years currently. This, this was a prototype that was uh, in my head was going to, to go faster, but at the end, uh, I have around three years by uh, doing a parts, plastic parts and aluminum parts with this machine. So, uh, Please leave a comment if you want to ask something. I will be happy to answer. Um, don't forget to subscribe and like. Cheers.